Hey everyone, welcome to The Greatness Game. Hopefully it is, it's seven o'clock on Saturday. I know that everybody is super busy. I, I hear there's a lot of grilling going on. There's a lot of movie watching going on, but hopefully you have carved out about 20 minutes to have a glass of wine, watch The Greatness Game, get inspired and remember how powerful you are. So my name is Dina Patton. I'm the owner of Greatness Training and The Greatness Game uh, book. And I am so committed to people's mental toughness, your leadership and your greatness games. And if you know anything about me, I love holding people to their most powerful self. And so I just wanted to, you know, for me in this time, in these challenging times, what I can give is greatness. What I can give is inspiration and keep reminding people how powerful we are in the face of anything. So come on in, get a glass of wine. Let's see who is here. Hi, April. Christina. Woo -woo. I could throw a rock to Christina. She is a, a neighbor. Um, hopefully having a glass of wine and some dinner. Hi, Andrew. Mwah. Patricia in California. Oh my gosh, all my friends in California and New York. My love, my hugs go out to you. Um, so as people come in, um, I just want to be your nightly date uh, for the next couple of weeks at seven o'clock every night um, Pacific time. So I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, um, but I have friends and uh, Facebook friends all over the country. And it's just our time to kind of come back to center, come back to greatness. This is, you know, it gets harder and harder and I think it's going to get harder and harder. But as we go through this, we can learn, right? We can learn and remember, you know, we are so powerful, but in times like this, we can go into victim really fast and we can go into hopeless really fast. So hi, Nancy, Christina, you're making pizza. Oh, oh, awesome. I love that. I have my slippers on because my feet are killing me. We went on a three mile walk today and I have blisters. <laughs> so that was a win, but my blisters are not the win. So I do have slippers on, which I'm super excited about. All right. So this is the deal. The last couple episodes, the first one we talked about smallness versus greatness and being having the discipline and the courage to be shutting down that smallness voice that can really trigger you into hiding and withdrawing and not believing in yourself, going into hopeless, going into victim, whatever that looks like for you, and remembering that you have an amazing greatness voice that wants to put you in action and remind you how powerful you are. So we learned smallness versus greatness, and the challenge that night was to write down three habits you're going to stop, three smallness habits that you're going to stop that you're kind of hooked into, triggered into right now, and three greatness habits that you're going to start. So we want to keep our greatness like activated and not falling into smallness. Now, that doesn't mean like being your PJs, like enjoy this time, right? I had a back today. I had a long walk today. Like I'm enjoying sleeping in. But I'm doing that from a place of choice and not letting myself go to a dark place or a scared place. Okay, so um, let's see who else came in. Awesome. Jody, hi, love. Mwah. Teresa, hi, love you. Mwah. All right, Nikki from Dallas. All right, awesome. All right, so this is something I want you to hear every time you see me, is that your future needs you, your past doesn't. Your future needs your greatness right now, like to set yourself up to win during this and after this. So it's really important that we stay in a positive mindset. And that doesn't mean like rose colored glasses and like pretend nothing's happening. It means being powerful in the face of stuff going on. So the second um, day, and you can go back and watch these there on my Facebook page. We talked about permission versus empowerment. You can give yourself permission to do something and still not be empowered to take action. So action is where our future self needs us. And that might look different 
for all of you. I have friends who are completely unemployed right now. I have friends that their business has quadrupled in this time. I mean, everybody is in such different places and trying to handle everything, you know, um, in their own way. But being empowered means you can take action. And so the challenge in the last episode was to make a plan. And it could, it doesn't have to be complicated, just some kind of plan for the next week and then for the next month. What are you up to? How are you gonna stay in action around the games that, that how do I wanna say this? The games that m- mean something to you, right? Not my agenda, your agenda. So the things that are going to move your family forward, the things that are going to move your business forward, what, or maybe just your family, you know, your your kids. So last night's challenge was to have a one week plan and then a 30 day plan of things that you are going to move forward and that empowerment, that action. Okay, so tonight is a very special subject because if you know me, you know that One of the parts that I speak on, that I train all my CEOs, athletes, celebrities, er anybody that I coach has to have this thing. And a lot of people do not have this thing because they think it's not needed or fluffy or who has time for that? And it is self-care. So a self-care plan. Hi guys, welcome, Michelle. Hi, yay, so glad to see you. And Tracy from California. Hi, Jill. Jesse. Welcome, welcome. And and I think Lisa just joined. Welcome. So tonight, it is a really, um, this is a subject that's really near and dear to my heart, especially in the down times of my life. I've had a few very devastating times in my life. And I didn't really know what self-care was. And I certainly didn't have a self-care plan And let me tell you, when I had a stroke at 27 and I got my life handed to me and I couldn't speak and I couldn't, I mean, it was devastating on every level. Um, I learned that I was responsible for my mind, body, and spirit and no one else was. And this thing is called self-care. And um, I really got a dose of, if I'm gonna lead a company, if I'm gonna lead a family, Um, I need to take care of myself. And I didn't even know what that looked like 20 years ago. But let me tell you, it now looks like a self-care plan, daily, weekly, and monthly things that I do that I hold myself accountable for. Not only that, but I want to make a distinction here between self-care time and me time. Self-care time is really the things to keep your mind, body, and spirit balanced and powerful, right? And especially in challenging times like this, like if I didn't have a self-care plan, oh my gosh, I think I would be like imploding, right? But that's why I imploded at 27, is I was not, I mean, I was not taking care of myself on any level. And I didn't, I really was, I, I um, was in agreement with the entrepreneur myth that you had to work 24 seven and hustle and work harder than your competition. And that is, that is what the game I was playing and I was winning, but I was winning the wrong game because we are always winning the game that we are playing. And I was playing that game instead of how can I build a business and take care of myself? I didn't know that there was an ant. So before we get into this, I would love to know Um, Some of you have joined me for a couple of these, so I would love for you to put in the comments um, maybe a win, something that you've done in from the homework or from, you know, maybe that you just got from these videos. Give me some little notes here in the comments of what you've gotten or what you've accomplished or maybe a breakthrough. I would love to hear from you because it helps me figure out what you guys are doing and, you know, what's working. So please put that in first and foremost. And second of all, if you haven't joined me before, welcome everybody that just came in. Lindsay, Ingrid, welcome, welcome. Hello, Natalie, welcome. Welcome to the Greatness Game, Woo! where it is all about your mental toughness, your leadership, and your greatness games. And it's 20 minutes of just inspiration and keeping you focused on what your games are during this time because we can get really derailed right now. So 
Um, so put that in. If you haven't joined me, this is what I would love to hear is what is one good thing that you saw someone else do today? Maybe it was online or in your neighborhood, like sweet, you know, all these things are coming out. It's so sweet. The, the humanity is coming out. So if you saw someone do something good um, or just a sweet act of humanity, put that in the comments too. I want to hear that. All right. So tonight's learning is all about self-care uh, self care plan versus me time, right? Self-care time versus me time. And I want you guys to know the difference because they're both very important, but they're both very, very different. Uh, the self-care plan, like I said, daily, weekly, monthly, I have all of my clients um, get on a self-care plan because you cannot build a company without you being fueled. Our self-care is our fuel, right? So it is super crucial that if you are, you know, working hard in a in a business in a company, whether you're an employee or you're the owner, um, you are taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit. That balance is really important. Now, me time is not that. Me time is more about the things that excite you. That those are your hobbies. Those are dates. Those are girlfriend nights. Those are the fun things that like fuel your tank. Okay, it's different. And I think people collapse those and they have, you know, maybe all me time and no self care or all self care and they call it me time, but they're not doing any of the fun. So I want you guys to know the difference between those two because I want you to have both. Self care, super important, like being accountable. What am I doing daily for my mind, my body, my spirit, right? So for me, like my daily stuff, 20 to 25 minutes prayer and meditation, first and foremost, working out every day, four, five, four to five times a week. Uh, vitamins, I have, a, I have a set of vitamins that are like life-changing for, for me. Um, you know, my weekly, those are like chiropractor. I have to have, I have a sciatica, so I have to have that chiropractor uh, time. I go to church once a week. Um, what other weekly um, things? So uh, family night, right? So the monthly is like my massage, things that once a month that I need to do for that mind, body, and spirit. So it's really important. And on my self-care, you can see self-care accountability calendar. One of the hardest things to accept about this is that you're the only one that can do it. And if you are building a business, I cannot tell you how many entrepreneurs, CEOs, um, uh, celebrities who implode because there's never a self-care plan in their ramping up time and they literally are killing themselves, right? Work, workaholic. I wrote a, um, article for entrepreneur magazine about this because that is how passionate I am about people understanding that we are the fuel behind our career. And, um, sometimes we just <laughs> dig our own grave, right? So, um, welcome Nancy, first time here and moving this week from Oregon to Texas. Oh my gosh, that is scary. Well, I hope that you are taking care of yourself, being safe in your move. You will, I know that it will um, be well for you. So keep us uh, updated and you can watch this every night at seven o'clock. All right, so that's self-care. And then the me time, really important that you understand what makes you fulfilled. Like, what is something fun? What are those hobbies? You know, for me, I love comedy. I love seeing live comedy. I love seeing live jazz. Those kind of things, date nights, girlfriend nights, um, dancing. You know, it's up to me to schedule that. And I really believe success is scheduled. So if it's not my calendar, it does not happen. I can wish all day long to go see live music, but if I don't look it up and see, you know, when it is and I get it in my schedule, it doesn't happen. So um, if I want, you know, a, a, a fun day with my daughter just to connect with her, that really fills me. Um, I've got to get it on the calendar and plan it. So let's be accountable for both our me time and our self-care time, especially in this downtime. It, it feels like luxury, but really it's your mind, body, and spirit that's going to get you through this. 
and it through this with purpose and intention intentionality. So part of, I'm going to give you a challenge every day and it's up to you if you want to do it or not, but you know, why not do it? Why not grow in this time? Um, I, <clears throat> I have always given this chart away um, free on my website. So it is there. It's been there for years. You can go to amazinggreatness.com and free download, print it out. And so tonight's challenge is fill out the self-care plan. Whether you use my template or just in a notebook, daily, weekly, monthly, it's so important. So let me see comments. Patricia, I love you. Started working out from an app. Um, I was avoiding this for several days. I'm tracking all my progress. I started reading a book called Captivating. Ooh, I gotta look it up. It's on the design of women. Awesome, great job. Hi, Andrew. Um, if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't exist. It that's that's how I that's how I work. If it's not on my calendar, it does not exist. So welcome, Tiffany. Um, so I wanted I want to leave you guys on this note: is six weeks, eight weeks from now, when we are through this, are you going to look back on this time and be proud of yourself and the greatness games that you created? Go back in my first video when we talked about greatness games versus smallness games and create some greatness games for yourself right now. They don't have to be hard. They don't have to cost anything. They could just be around your own growth or your own house, your own family. But I want you to look back on this time and say, I grew. I became a better person. I became a better leader. My mental toughness got better, right? That greatness game that you're going to be proud of yourself instead of Six or eight weeks from now, just <laughs> I feel like everyone's going to come out of it like 20 pounds <laughs> heavier. You know, I was just craving today Oreos, so I might go get me some Oreos. But, um, but I do want us to be proud of ourselves and looking back and saying, you know, I allowed myself some downtime. I allowed myself to breathe through this and handle the hard things, but I also won. I won some really great greatness games. So... Um, let's see, comments. The true measure of the human being shows up in the most challenging time. Woo -woo. Andrew just said, the true measure of the human being shows up in the, mu in the most challenging times. So one of the sayings in coaching is how you do one thing is how you do everything. And this is the time that, you know, if there's a habit, if there's that smallness habit, or just, you know, something that you just do not like about yourself, this is the time. Get committed to break that habit, right? That smallness that has a grip on you, that habit that has a grip on you that you just haven't won in the past, like get on it. This is the time. So um, if you need anything else, you know where to find me every night at seven o'clock, grab a glass of wine, join me here. Remember your future needs you, your past doesn't. So this is all about setting your future up to win and for everybody to do this together. We're all in this together. So that's the challenge. Do your self-care plan tonight or if you already have one, um, relook at it and recommit to it, all right? If you have any questions, post them below um, and do it for your future. Do it for your future, the leader you're becoming, your mental toughness, your greatness game. I love you guys. Put any questions or comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. Join me here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, and I'll see you guys then.